Hello everyone and welcome back to another Star Wars figure review. Next up for you today we're going to be taking a look at everybody's favourite rebel and that's this guy here, Luke Skywalker in his rebel pilot outfit or more specifically his snow speeder outfit. This figure has received a lot of high praise online as being one of the best Luke Skywalker figures that Hasbro have ever released and I've really got to back that claim up as it is an absolutely fantastic figure. Um, before I get on to the figure though, I'm going to give you a look at the packaging he comes in. As you can see you've got the image of Luke up in the top corner there. On the back you've got a still image from the movie as well as a photo of the figure. Complete with all his accessories. Just quickly read it from the back. It says Luke leads an attack on Imperial attack walkers that are moving toward Echo Base. He instructs the other Snowspeeder pilots to use their harpoons and cables and aim for the legs in an attempt to take out the Imperial walkers. There's the packaging. Now on to the figure. As I said, I'm really really impressed with it. Um, both from a figure standpoint, an articulation standpoint and also a accessory standpoint because he comes with a hell of a lot of each. Um, before I get onto the articulation I'll give you a look at the accessories he comes with. He does have a removable helmet, as you can see, which I believe is a completely new sculpt of the Rebel helmet. It's a lot more accurate than previous versions. Um, as I said, it is removable. And he's got the uh, the flight gear moulded to his head underneath. Probably one of the best likenesses to Mark Hamill as well. Really nice head sculpt that. Um, he also comes with his unlit lightsaber hilt. Which is a bit strange. Weird that we don't actually see him with his uh, fully lit lightsaber as obviously this figure is based off the scene where he shoots the grappling hook into the underbelly of the attack and throws the explosive charge in there and obviously uses his lightsaber to open the hatch um, speaking of grappling hooks he also comes with his cable gun as you can see there and if I can carefully remove the cable from where I've attached it to then I'll be able to show you how the hook comes out. Unfortunately it's been a pick to get out. Yeah, I'm not going to bother doing that now for time re reasons. Um, but you can just pull out the grappling hook like so and it will you know, fire out like that. You can hang him up like that. If you've got an at -at, you know, you can set him up like that. Which I think is pretty cool. Especially considering that we're getting the new uh, Supersized ATAT Walker. Obviously, this guy's going to look kick ass hanging from that. Quite a large cable as well, very long. <laughs> um, a really nice sculpt on the on the gun there, as you can see. Um, so, that's all the accessories he comes with. Um, the sculpt of this figure is absolutely amazing. You know, the detail in the outfit and in the, uh, the breath box and all that kind of stuff is really really good um, and articulation wise he has the ball jointed neck ball hinged shoulders and elbows, swivel forearms a ball jointed torso, swivel hips, ball hinged knees and ball hinged ankles so he is practically super articulated we couldn't have asked for a better version of Luke to be honest obviously not only are we getting the new Attack Walker in 2010 but we're also be going to we're also going to be seeing a new release of Luke's Snow Speeder so we've got two great new vehicles that this figure can be posed with. So I hope you've enjoyed having a look at Luke Skywalker in his snow speeder outfit. This has got to be one of my favourite figures from the Empire Sharks Back Wave. That's why I've saved him till next to last. And next up for you, I will be reviewing my favourite figure from the wave as a whole. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, until next time, hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll be back with more soon. Until then, keep collecting and may the force be with you.